Face Mill Mid Pass is a new planar mill operation subtype that allows you to face mill selected cut areas using mid pass or convex hull cut patterns. It's recommended for finishing complex faces, such as those found on gearbox casings, oil pump casings, engine cylinder blocks, and general machinery parts, and is supported by flat end, bullnose, and chamfer mill tools. We'll begin by demonstrating a use case of the mid pass pattern. Select a single face to specify the cut area. Multiple faces are not supported. If multiple faces are selected, the first face will be used. The mid pass pattern type is best used in cases where you want the tool path to follow the middle of the cut area. It can be used for closed and open loops. Ignore holes is on by default, causing the tool path to cut over the holes. Turning it off will detour the tool path around the holes. To cut over non-circular holes, you may use exclude edges. You may reverse cut direction and specify a positive or negative pattern offset. Toolpath Preview allows you to see the pattern offset before generating. Dragging the pattern offset arrow updates the preview dynamically. For complex parts, toolpath generation may be significantly faster with preview turned off. Display resulting IPW can show uncut material. The preview color can be specified for the current login session in Manufacturing Preferences. The toolpath preview color can also be specified under customer defaults. Extension distance extends both ends of the toolpath to avoid engaging and retracting directly on the cut area. Extension distance is only valid when the toolpath is open and is only possible when using mid-pass patterns. Negative extensions are not allowed. Next, we'll demonstrate a use case of the convex hull pattern. Select a single face to specify the cut area. The convex hull pattern is best used in cases where the cut area is a closed loop. The toolpath wraps around the selected cut area. 